Welcome to Oakland. We're at Ring Central Coliseum. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started. And pitching in this one for Oakland, number 38. What do you have on him, Siggy? Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Mark Simeon up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Line drive. Come on. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting the line drives. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped Where underneath it in front of the warning track. Smoked on the ground a second. Oh. In plenty of time to first, and a couple of quick outs. The right field, Adole Garcia. Adolis Garcia now at the plate. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Just no, missed. Oh. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a 1-1. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. That one laced to center and a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pitch runner, Travis Jankowski. So here's the cleanup hitter, Evan Carter. Jankowski on the run. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Good steal a second right there. And now the table is set for the middle of this order to drive in the first run of this ball game. I like that they're trying to manufacture some offense early on. Jankowski at second with two down. In for a strike, and it's 0-2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back in Oakland, and today's starting pitcher, Nathan Evaldi. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, we look go. out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Ryan Noda. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And a 
swing and a line drive at a right field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Let's take a look at our lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives. There may be really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Inside, just missed. Just off the inside edge. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Brent Rooker up next. And he walked him on four pitches. Now that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. One down, runner at first. And now, Brent Rooker. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. pitch downstairs and the count even one and one way to lay off that pitch down swings yeah. through that one for strike two one ball, the two, two strikes three. may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here and That's another ball, ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That is cool. So here's Brown at the plate. Rudder takes off. Stuck in there. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly, and a strike down the second base to end the inning. Second inning, set to go. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. Josh Young. The pitch. Up and oh. in, and it's 1-0. Don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Wouldn't chase that time. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about it. That's a good thing. Yeah. And it is two and one. Gets the outside corner with that one. Next pitch is outside. Nathaniel Lowe waiting for a turn at the plate. Man at second. The other way. Squeezes it. Runner tags at second. Fires to third. And he's in safely at third with one out. That is good. The first baseman. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Anything but a strikeout here. This at bat could end up defining the game. Deep breaths in the box. Now fly ball to right center. Brown on the move to the gap. Brings it in. Here comes the runner from third. He'll score on the sack fly. On the board first, it's one zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And 
that first offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And here it comes. Not one close one. with that one. And the count is one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Trevor got getting ready to go. Alexander getting cranked up as well. And now it's one and two. And a base hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Leody Tavares. Off the plate inside, and that is ball one. Two outs to third, Davis. They take the force out, third out, and that ends the frame. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rangers one and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay, bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Seth Brown. And a pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. The 01. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swings and misses, struck him out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. You know, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Now it's J.D. Davis. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. With the winning run at the plate. Bottom half of inning number two. Pretty Swing great. and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing that more good. fastballs in that Ball location. Here. Hitters, especially okay. with two strikes, have to be ready okay. to pull the trigger. The Athletics down to their last out. This is J.J. Blade trying to deliver as the hero. First That's pitch misses. One winning run at the plate yeah the home team trying to pull it out just oh. missed This one high in the air to left center. Carter on the move to the alley. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind them to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. 1-0 the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.